Hi everyone, I'm back with my new video. If you are an adolescent and suffering from identity crisis, then you need to watch all parts of chapter 2, which I will be uploading in upcoming days. But before that, don't forget to show your love by liking, sharing and subscribing my channel. Don't miss out the bell icon for more updates. The second chapter, Understanding the Self, has three parts, that is, what makes me I, development and characteristics of the self, influence on identity, how do we develop a sense of self. So, in this chapter, we will be talking about various components of self as well as its characteristics and its influence on identity. So, today's tutorial will be devoted for our very first part that is, what makes me I. Before starting with the main content, let's understand the meaning of what is sense of self. The difference between two human beings makes them unique and that uniqueness gives us our sense of self. Let's understand the meaning of self. Self-concept is an idea about how and what one think of himself or herself. It includes beliefs, traits, views and purpose within the world. Example, I am too emotional or I am a trustworthy person. In other words, we can say that the term self refers to the totality of a person's experiences, ideas, thoughts and feelings with regard to himself or herself. It is the characteristic way in which we define ourselves. Hence, the idea that we hold of ourselves is the notion of the self. Moving on to next component of self, that is self-esteem. It is how much we value ourselves. There can be a lot of factors which can leave impact on one's self-esteem, like including how we compare ourselves to others and how others respond to us. If others' reaction is positive towards our behavior, it will develop positive self-esteem. And when we compare ourselves to others and find ourselves lacking, it can have a negative impact on our self-esteem. Moving further, a self can be defined in many ways with many traits and many different roles. Identity is thus the product of the many such definitions of self. Identity can be defined by the qualities, belief, personality, looks or expressions one has. It can be further divided into personal identity and social identity. Personal identity refers to those attributes of a person that makes her different from the others like beauty, value, habits, emotions, belief, etc. Whereas social identity refers to those aspects of the person that link him or her to a group, like professional, social or cultural. Thus, when you think of yourself as an Indian, you have linked yourself with the group of people living in a country. Our students, on the basis of today's lecture, you are supposed to complete this task in your notebooks. I will see you all with my next video soon. Till then, bye-bye and take care.